Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about accident versus negligent. Now, a week ago Saturday, as we taped this, there was an instant incident that happened at the Raleigh Gun Show where there was an accidental discharge, or at least that's how it was reported. Uh, the, the reports go that a guy brought a gun up to the table to be checked in to go into the show and it was a shotgun. Well anyway, the shotgun ended up going bang before they could inspect it and zip tie it and all that. And the papers and the news stories that were put out all over the country, you'd have thought like a thousand people were murdered because it was in the LA Times, the San Francisco Chronicle, all these newspapers. Uh, they were reporting on this at a gun show and that they shut the gun show down because of the accidental shooting. Well, here's what happened. The gun went boom, buckshot came out of it, or birdshot, I'm not sure what kind of shot it was, but three people were injured. So they shut the show down and they opened it up the next day and the newspapers reported it as an accidental shooting. Well, here is the straight scoop. When it comes to firearms safety, the word accident and the word negligent are not interchangeable. Okay, I've been teaching this for a long, long time. And if you're going to handle firearms, if you're going to use firearms, first of all, you need to understand the four universal safety rules. All right, and what are they? Treat every gun as if it's always loaded. Never allow the muzzle to point or cross anything you're not willing to destroy or put a bullet into. Keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on target and you've decided to shoot. Know your target, what's around it, and what's beyond it. Those are the four big ones. Okay. When you hear of someone being shot unintentionally, okay, if you hear of a human being, they either died or wounded or injured or whatever by gunfire and it was unintentional, not deliberate, one or two or maybe three of the big universal safety rules were violated, most likely. Now, are there accidents? Are there things such as slam fires where the action closes and the gun discharges and it was an accident that you could not have prevented? Okay, guns are, ma are machines, they're made by the hands of man and sometimes they break. Okay, that is a genuine accident. The sear failed, the hammer went forward, hit the firing pin, the gun went boom. Okay, you couldn't see inside of that gun to know that the sear was going to break or the lever was going to fail. All right, that is a legitimate accident. But the fact of the matter is, is most things that are called accidents are actually negligence. Now, negligence is when a human being does something that they should have known better than to do. All right, such as snatching up a gun with your finger on the trigger. That, if that gun goes bang with your finger on the trigger, it was not an accident. It was negligent. It was you doing something you weren't supposed to do. Now, if the gun, if you snatch it up with your finger on the trigger, it goes bang and a bullet goes into a human being or a load of buckshot goes into a human being, that's two things. Finger on the trigger and pointing the muzzle at something you're not willing to destroy or put a bullet into. And also, not treating every gun as if it's always loaded. Because if you treated every gun as if it was always loaded, you wouldn't be putting your booger hook on the bang switch. So stop doing it. Now why do I bring this up? Why am I hammering on this point? Well right now in the United States of America, lawful gun owners, you guys out there, you people who own firearms, who are law-abiding citizens, you are under a microscope. We all are. And there are people out there in the world that are just salivating, that are waiting for you to make a mistake. They're waiting for you to screw up so they can say, look, see, see, these citizens shouldn't be allowed to own guns because they're too dangerous. Okay, and having a negligent discharge, because when you pull a gun out of a case and it goes kapow and you shoot somebody, that's negligent. Having a negligent discharge in public just gives them the fuel to say, see America, you guys shouldn't be allowed to have guns because you can't be trusted with them. Now, how many car accidents and car f and fatalities, vehicle fatalities, do you suppose happened on the exact same day that this negligent discharge occurred in Raleigh, North Carolina? I bet you a lot. I bet you there were several, if not dozens of people that died in fatalities and car crashes in the United States that day. But did they report those in every single paper in every single state in the union? No, they didn't because 
We like cars. Cars are okay. Even though people die every day on the highway and they die in cars, we have to have cars, so that's okay. But you gun people, you need to give up your guns because they're not safe. We are under a microscope, ladies and gentlemen. Every law-abiding gun owner in America is being viewed by the opposition, and there is an opposition. Do not deny yourself that. They want you to mess up. And what we need to do is we need to start policing our own. Well, what do you mean, Paul? Am I supposed to be a jerk or a dick and say, hey, man, get your finger off the trigger? No. But if you see someone who's violating one of the four, you need to say something. Like, hey, buddy, how about you don't point that at me? Or, were you aware that your finger is on the trigger? Or, excuse me, do you know that your finger's on the trigger? And tell you what, people are fallible. People make mistakes. If you, or a man, or a woman, and you violate one of the four safety rules and someone points it out to you, don't get butt hurt, all right? You're not allowed, if you violate one of the four rules, you're not allowed to get butt hurt when somebody points it out to you. Man up or woman up and say, okay, that was my bad and I'm not gonna do it anymore. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start policing our own because if we don't police ourselves, there are people out there who are more than happy to police us. And you're not going to like that when it happens. So, for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com. Come back again next time for more Homeroom.